I'm Heidi Hewitt here with Carl Mokel. Carl, in AutoCAD 2011 with the new materials, um, since, since those are completely new, the underlying definition mm -hmm. is new, right? Yeah. What happens if somebody opens up an AutoCAD drawing in AutoCAD 2011 that has the older materials applied? Um, they'll come across. So what will happen is that <clears throat> they'll, the same material name will be there in the materials browser, but it'll have a different name or I'll have different uh, attributes. So uh, because the new materials are kind of based on the new technology, uh, it'll look the same. It should render almost exactly the same, but it'll actually have different attributes that you can play around with. And the reason it'll be almost exactly the same is the new one actually renders a lot of things better. It takes care of some of the issues the old one had around um, lighting and things like that. It's a, more, a smarter, more realistic way of uh, presenting the materials. Speaking of that, one of the things that I noticed is something like bricks and the mm -hmm. bump bump maps mm -hmm. um, display in AutoCAD 2011. Mm -hmm. Previously, previously they didn't display in the browser while you were editing them, but uh, now the new uh, browser and editor uh, use the newer versions of our re viewport rendering technology called OGS, and uh, and so because of that, because it's a much more robust one, it can do more things. You'll actually start seeing things like bump maps and other lighting effects actually appearing there, so you can make better choices about when you're editing materials. Without having to actually do a render or exactly. something like that. Exactly, yes. Yeah, I love that feature. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Great, thanks, Carl. You're welcome.